What up, y'all? We back. Episode 12. Come on. Oh, you look like you've been in a car accident, champ. Uh, Miz wanted me to extend his deepest sympathies. That's not exactly how he phrased it on social media. I can't believe the flowers haven't arrived already. I'll have to put in a call. I just got the hell beaten out of me, Troy, in another one of Miz's traps. You sure you want to be doing this right now? No, no I am not. Gunther and his lackeys jumped me. I want to show them why I'm the undisputed... Then you'll be happy to know? Oh. You know, it's gonna go crazy. How y'all feeling today? I'm feeling cool. You know, I'm decent. Click a plan. match. The rules of the match are as follows Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Eliminations can occur by pinfall, submission, disqualification, or countouts. The match will be won if the first entrant eliminates all other entrants in the match. Oh, bro. Well. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion is here. You know I'm here. Here comes Vinci. Right, of course. And representing Imperium from South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Giovanni Vinci. A man who believes the mat is sacred, but why not look good doing it? His resume looks good. His weekend. There won't be any traps tonight. The WWE Universal Champion what gets his hell? hands on Imperium one by one. You say that like it's good for the champ, Saxton. How much of him do you think is going to be left by the time he gets to Gunther? The champ has faced down the odds from night one, Corey. That's why they call him the Dark Horse. Ooh. Into a German suplex. Damn. Okay. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Oh, costly error there. Up into the electric chair. Mm. Oh my god, a German Tolix! Yeah, that's sick. Ouch. Back elbow smash, nothing fancy. Set up yep. in the corner of the ring. Yep. Yep. What a shot. Forearm mm. to the jaw. Evades the yeah. offense. Come on. Up across the shoulders, fireman's carry position. Into a neck breaker, nicely done. Penny predicament, and the kick out. Too soon. Yeah, he's a good one. Just a mm. debilitating neck breaker. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Hoist their opponent up for a back rack position driven down face first. Off into the pin. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Trying that move again. One right hand, another, and another, mm. and breaks out. Let's go. Driven into the barricade. Oh, mm. He's channeling Let's the crowd's energy. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. And he slides him back to the mat. 
looking for a high-risk move. Oh, look out. And nobody's Ooh. there. And Vinci yep. gets that set right back to him. Good boy. Eats a punch Ooh. to the face. Shifts the attack into an inverted DDT. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Ooh. Hits him with the counter. Electric it's chair. Over. this gauntlet and there are still two more competitors to come next into the gauntlet is Ludwig Kaiser just look at the WWE Universal Champion this guy's already hurting and he's only in the second fight of the gauntlet of course he's hurting Vinci wasn't in that first match to win he was looking to hurt the champ and what do you think Ludwig Kaiser is going to do in this match? Haven't you learned never to count the WWE mm. Universal Champion out for him? You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Slice shot in. Cutter. Mm. No doubt Ludwig is having trouble here. Kaiser is being worked on heavily. Look out! Oh, that was sick. Got a snap there. Fought up an elbow. Let's go. Oh. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Caught square by the haymaker. Drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. Okay. Into the barricade. Yurinagi! Oh. 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 He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. That was sick. Flight and soaring through the sky. He's got him in the crosshairs. Kai's mm. overwork. All right. As soon as I said something. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, and mm. it gets close. Let's walk their head off. He got whipped into that corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot.
Anderson. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Bro, oh, Things yeah. are playing out exactly like how envisioned. Looked at Wobbly in the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. What are they planning here? Sitting their opponent up on the top rope and now heading out to the apron, trying to fight back. Mm. Blows to the kidneys. Mm. Struggle to get up top. Now a few elbows to the back of the neck, trying to wear down their opponent here. This is going to be nasty. High risk maneuver from the top. Oh mm. my God. Avalanche poison runner. Great balance out to the middle row. And Ludwig can't find a way off the blocks. Yeah, Kaiser really has to show some more resistance. Yes, Ludwig Kaiser has been eliminated. Time to hit the showers. We've seen oh, twists and turns, but here's our last entrant. The next fall. Billy the win. This isn't who we expected. Where the heck is Gunther? Must be another tactical move by the ring general. I right. love it. Can the Dark Horse take down the surprise opponent? What's going on here? Has Ilya Dragunov joined Imperium? He's at least stepped in to replace Gunther tonight in what I assume is an attempt to throw the Dark Horse off the game. What better man to recruit than one you've been to war with? Another incredible chess move by the ring general to punish the champ in this final gauntlet match. He's running into some problems here, guys. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Mm. Over the top backstabber. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Could be seconds away from seat. Up across the shoulders. Down and And that can keep dragging off down. Oh. Cover. General's master plan has failed. Hang on. Got their front ball. Oh, yeah. Continental title. And the champ is down. It's time for the Age of Imperium. Wow. Cheap shots. Okay. That's what we own. Okay. I just got a message from WWE.com. They ran a poll, and the majority of the WWE Universe thinks that it's Gunther's time to rise. Maybe the WWE Universe didn't see me take out two-thirds of Imperium in their hired gun. Or maybe it's that the Age of Imperium has such a nice ring to it. Epic. What do they even call your run, huh? All this time as WWE Universal Champion, has anyone ever actually said it's your era? Mm. They don't have to say it. They know. No, bro. Well, good news. After that gauntlet match, Miz decided that this rivalry has had the proper buildup. So you'll be defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Gunther at Night of Champions in a no disqualification match. No, Just like you wanted. Stacking the deck against me. Must be Friday. I bet. Now if I beat him, I don't want to hit nothing. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The Undisputed WWE Championship. Oh, bro. I'm not going to keep playing, y'all. <laughs> Why couldn't it be a title versus title? Winner take all. Match. Come on, come on, bro. The Universal Champion walks into the storm alone.
<laughs> okay. The crowd member is funny. Yeah, we're gonna go crazy. Introducing the challenger from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! Oh. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 190 pounds, the undisputed. WWE Universal Champion King Jim. Oh, bro. Damn. Feel the atmosphere. He got his uh, henchmen. The WWE Universe knows just how much this title okay. means. I'm calling it now. Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE Universal Championship run come to an end. The champ has stood up against every challenge that has come his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both sound like broken records protecting this guy. History has proven that the Dark Horse can overcome. Not Gunther. Not Lift off. Oh, my gosh. Corkscrew sent on. Vicious right forearm. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, ouch! And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. He's got the table, and I can only imagine what he's thinking of doing with it. He's setting his table up, and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. He's going with the great equalizer here. The steel chair. Ooh, a direct headshot. Just sickening. Gunther just can't seem to stop this offense. Okay. Perhaps Gunther needs to go back to the drawing board. He gets back into the ring. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Oh, yep. oh step up in Zieri. Uh, setting him up in position here on the second row. He is looking to do some serious harm. He's oh, he been waiting for it the whole time. Instant oh. kick out from the champion. Staying in this one. Come on. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Quick return to the ring. Sleeper slam! Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Come on, bro. <laughs> Flipping backstabber. Taking it outside the ring now. Boom! Come <laughs> on, oh, bro. Uh oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Taking the fight near our next table. I really hope we get these guys in this Oh my gosh, what impact. Oh my. Well, Griff, rearranging our inside furniture here. Clearing the announce desk. What a mess. Ooh Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. What impact! Right 
in the kisser. And Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. And that definitely made solid impact. Headlock applied, Dang tossed it. their opponent. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. We've seen the sledgehammer many times before, and it has never been a pretty sight. Sent straight into the barricade. Way to steer clear. Off the barricade. Oh, he slammed mm. his face right into the barricade. Oh, it's mm. into the ring post. Here we go. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. <laughs> Set them up for the floor. Oh. That looks bad for Gunther's face. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. He fends off the attack. Brad out of ringside and back to the mat. Catches the clothesline. Unbelievable mm. standing Spanish fly. He's really slowly getting up. Mm. That's gotta be it. There's two. What a match. Damn. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. And he's taking this to the outside now. the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Set him up for the mm. He returns to the ring. gets caught with a counter. In the electric chair, can they somehow counter? Dropping bombs, trying to escape, and they do. <laughs> trying to get the backslide. Backslide oh, for the victories. Can we hear it? <laughs> Title match stays alive. Somehow, some way, he is still in the that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Mm. Power slam. The champ not in a great place. Gunther with steely resolve to do that kind of damage. There he goes, right into the corner. Gunther catches him by surprise. Great wherewithal. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Dragon twist cutter. Oh boy, he is setting up the table, taking this to a whole nother level. Oh no, he's in the line of danger now. Hooked up. Well, this superstar just prevented a trip to Table Town. Defiantly refusing to go to the table. Oh, man, I'm not liking the look of this. Oh, what's this going to be? Uh-oh. Oh, through the table. He might 
might never be the same after that trip through the table. Yeah, that looked particularly terrible. Look at this. be a good time to regroup, rethink your plan. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over, but you gotta do a little more to finally finish this. Placed into the corner. Uh-oh. Right into the ring post, what impact! And the hits to the core keep coming. by the ankles. Gunther can't find a foothold in this match. Yeah, somehow Gunther has to turn the tide. Come on, bro. What? I don't like the look in his eye here. Soaring all the way to the outside. Big time risk pays off. The Daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. There are plenty of ways battling this area could end. thus far. I guarantee he won't quit right now. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Got straight forward. Nope. Stuck in the tree of woe. No escape in sight. Trapped in the tree of woe. All the way up top. Stop to the chest. Gunther falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Oh, Gunther is being subjugated to up across the shoulders. Boom! Feast your eyes. I think the champ's got it. Cover. Got it. And the champ adds okay. to their legacy. Here is your winner. this keep happening? How does the WWE Universal Champion keep surviving impossible odds? He oh, just beat the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE history. And he is on his way to another record now, Corey. Roman's record. Oh, snap. Before we introduce our next guest, let's set the stage. Cody Rhodes is still the World Heavyweight Champion on Raw, 
providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go. I don't understand yeah. why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the dark horse has become the workhorse, now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record-setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw general managers, The Miz and William Regal. First of all, I take offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. I know to pick a horse, and in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day one. That's rubbish. You never wanted him to be champion, and you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You want to do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy of filming episodes of your terrible reality show that no one watches. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. Well, I'm here to tell you, no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A-Show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. You think Raw is the A-Show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games! Mm. Fine. SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic, mate. Okay, let's get to that break. Well, crazy episode. Crazy feud with Gunther. And now, the next pay per view gonna be War Games match. Wait, AJ, Cody. And um, the OC. So, who gonna be on my team? It's the real question. Man. Well, all right, y'all. Uh, it's the end of this episode. Um, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.